Echo Hunters is a Wuthering Waves event that gets unlocked once you reach a certain Union level. Union level, of course, is the level of your character that you get leveled up through doing the main story quest and various other activities in the game. The Echo Hunters event consists of three parts. The first one is to collect five target echoes. In the middle of the event screen, you're going to see five pictures. If they have question marks on them, you haven't collected that target echo and you need to go fetch it. Since I'm an echo noob, right, echoes are a new mechanic in these kinds of games. They're kind of like a combination in between the artifacts in Genshin Impact and basically Pokemon. So this is an interesting topic to explore. Let me tell you what I found out through playing the game and how I collected the target echoes and eventually reached the end of the Echo Hunters event. Here's a very nifty trick for you to check out and collect these target echoes. You don't have to look at the available clues for each of the missing echoes. You just have to click on the picture and then that echo is going to be selected. If you haven't collected it before, there's going to be a question mark next to it. You want to click on the track button on the bottom right of the, your screen. Then you have to click on the detect button on the next screen in the lower right. That's going to show you the closest location of that particular enemy that you can collect the echo from. And then you just want to go to that location, right? Kill the enemies there. And hopefully that's going to generate the echo of that enemy. If the first enemy that you come across doesn't drop their echo, just continue fighting and detecting more echo locations and you're going to be fine. That's how you're going to collect all five of these target echoes. Some of them are pretty cool. You would collect them anyways just by playing the game. But this event basically forces you to go and explore and get them a little bit earlier on. So once you've collected all five target echoes, the next step in the event is going to be to reach data bank level 10. So I don't know if you've uh, discovered this already or not. Just click on the arrow on the right here or go to the main menu and open the data bank. That's going to take you to the leveling process of your echo collection, right? Each level is going to reward you with a stamina increase. But the more important thing is that your drop rarity is going to increase with each level. So after level 5, for example, you're going to start getting 3 stars um, echoes, meaning echoes of quality blue. The more you increase your data bank level, the higher the drop rarity is going to be and the drop chance of higher rarity echoes is going to be. One problem with this is that once you reach data bank level 7, you cannot progress to data bank level 8 unless you ascend it to soul 3 phase 3 what this means is that your union level has to be level 20. soul 3 phase ranks increase each 10 union levels so when you start the game your soul 3 phase level is going to be one once you reach union level 10 it's going to increase to rank 2 and once you reach union level 20 it's going to increase to uh, rank 3 and that's when you're going to be able to continue leveling up your data bank and reach the required level 10. But how do you actually increase your data bank level at all? So it's done through collecting echoes themselves. You're going to collect all the basic levels very early on in the game. That's not going to be enough to take you beyond data bank level 5 or so. So what you need to know is that when you go into your data bank and you click on the echo gallery, you're going to see all the echoes you collected so far. The ones that have a question mark next to them, they're not collected yet. You can track them like you did for the previous step of this event, find them, kill them. But some of them are going to be bosses and you have to unlock the bosses through leveling your union level. Anyways, just go to one of the echoes you already collected and look if it has one, two or three stars next to it. If it just has one star, that's the basic quality of that echo. That's the green rarity of that echo. You want to get the blue quality as well once you reach uh, data bank level five or seven. I can't remember right now. You just go to track again, find that echo in the world, kill it. It should now start dropping higher rarity echoes for you. And that's going to give you additional data bank experience for you to level up your collection level. Another way to do it is go to the main menu, right? And then go to your guidebook. There's going to be a milestone section here where you can do various tasks for different stages. And each stage, once done, 
is going to give you 30 data bank experience. So that's going to help level up your collection level as well. The whole point of this Echo Hunters event is for you to learn how to deal with Echoes, how to hunt for them, how to upgrade your uh, collection level, and basically how that part of the game works. So that's why it's going to take a while to do this, but it's going to teach you how to, um, how to handle Echoes and how to collect them. The last step in the Echo Hunters event is to complete the Silver Haired Echo Trainer quest. If you click on that, arrow on the right again it's going to take you to the to your quest screen and it's going to say that you you can do the side quest called the silver haired echo trainer but you're going to have to reach union level 16 and complete the utterance of marvels part 2 to unlock this utterance of marvels part 2 is probably the main quest so you're going to have to actually progress through the game to get this third step done so don't worry about doing it right away, this Echo Hunters event, because it's a permanent event. It's not going to go away. It's there to teach you how to handle Echoes, how to collect them, how to upgrade your levels. And, and by just naturally progressing through the game's story and the game's events, you're going to get it done. I hope this helped and that you're going to be able to at least start your Echo Hunters event journey. If it did help, please consider leaving a like. Maybe even subscribe, it helps with the algorithm a lot. This has been the Wuthering Waves Noobs and I'm signing out. Thank you for watching.